Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the J Area Podcast. For those of you that have been following up with the YouTube channel, you would know that I primarily focus on all sports and entertainment aspects. But for those who really know me, know that I'm a big fan of pro wrestling. And aside from the podcast, I want to be able to be incorporating other video and other content on this channel. So I thought with the recent SmackDown event emanating from Arizona, being that my family and I were able to attend that, I thought what a better way to incorporate pro wrestling onto this channel by reacting to pro wrestling trying not to wince or look away challenge. Now, for those of you who have seen pro wrestling, you might be more accustomed to seeing the glitz and glamour of the WWE or even all elite wrestling in recent years. But something in terms of the the indie scene or the independence where it's not really as high production value and it's much more of an independent company, which might seem you know, a little bit more low budget, if you will. A lot of their content, a lot of their wrestling isn't as polished. And so this is going to be one of those challenges where try not to win, try not to look away. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. I got a quick dive here. Ooh. Off rip. I mean, because it's like when you take those unprotected headshots, always like wince at those. A Canadian destroyer off onto the apron, it looks like. It's a Ring of Honor event. Impact. For our Impact fans. That's a little bit more tamed compared to the other ones. Oh, look at... Oh, my God. Oni Lorcan. Nice. I mean, I've already winced a couple times, but I mean, at this point... Let's see what else they got. Oh, man. Quite a few TNA clips on here. AJ Styles, when he was younger, man. Crazy risks. And here's some of like the independence that I was talking about. Not like the high... El Generico. Roder Ooh, oh my god. We have the female wrestlers here. Jordan Grace. Nice kip up. No. <laughs> See, like, that's where I like when they do stuff like that because if I was really there, I'm going to think of any kind of kip. Wow. Oh, some lucha libre. The apron spots always get me because oh, that's a big boy, Josh Alexander. Um, I was going to say the apron spots always get me because those look like to be like the toughest part of the ring. Jesus. Muscle Buster. Yeah. He's out. Yep, count him. You can count to 100. He's not getting up from that. Oh, that's Champa and Phoenix, yeah. See another impact. Oh, God. Looks like a slight delay on the video, it looks like. That's rough. PCO again. <laughs> a 
commentators are such a big part. Look, there's Gunther or Walter back then, but um, commentators are such like an underrated aspect to matches. The transformation that Walter slash Gunther has gone through, man, it's ridiculous. A lot of TNA Impact stuff in here, man. I didn't think there was going to be that much. Oh. Oh, my God. The ladder. The ladder fell with him, too. Look at that pounce. The size of that ladder. Oh. Darby and Penta. Like Pentagon again. Oh, that was the worst one. That was the worst apron spot that I've seen so far. Oh, no sell. Oh. Fold her up like origami. Oh, God. Nice. Oh my god. I know that hurt. You can't fake that. Holy hell. Oh, he got tax on his forehead. Tombstone? Jesus Christ. Count him. Oh. Good spot. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Tessa Blanchard, for those who know. Hmm. Oh, that was a mess all the way from the get-go. God. Nice pile driver. Gringo Loco. What a name. Hey, Jungle Boy. Oof. Jimmy Havoc. A lot of familiar names in this video. <laughs> oh, it didn't break. That's a shame. There you go. There's a break. That's a clean break. Is that Nick Gage? Oh my god. Ash catch him with the pinfall. Brainbuster? That's a suplex, my guy. Nice driver. Oh wow. You know who else had a really good sell like that? R V D. He would always be able to pin his head, whether it was like a DDT or an RKO. Nice. Good sell. Oh! Yeah, no, Kenny got the worst of that. Rest in peace. Tsh. 
Jeff. <laughs> no. That wasn't as much as, like, wince-worthy as it was just ugly. Good God. And, like, PCO at that age, taking all this damage is crazy. Holy cow. Spanish fly? No. Oh, he's... Oh, my God. You got to put him out. You got to stop, drop, and roll, brother. Ow. Wow. Did she hit her head? AJ. Oh. Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, he's making him eat him. Spin him out? No, super. That wasn't a good super kick. I've seen this clip a bunch. Spanish fly. Oh my god, it never. I want to say never gets old, but seeing Ray Phoenix just drop on his head like that is crazy. There you go. Which. Which clip did you guys, you know, struggle to watch? Like, a lot of those had some heavy impact to the head. A lot of apron shots. A lot of chair shots. A lot of TNA impact uh, clips there as well. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, I look forward to uh, posting more videos like this. And if you like this video, you like this reaction, go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be exploring more pro wrestling content. And always remember that on Wednesdays, I upload episodes of the J Area Podcast. Thank you again for watching this reaction. I'll see you guys in the next video.